details on a rather crazy confrontation on the streets of Dania Beach that ended with a deputy involved shooting. And it began with a woman armed with a machete who was chasing another person. CBS 4's Joe Murray is in Dania Beach to sort it out for us. Joan? Yeah, still a lot of questions tonight, Elliot, but what we do know is a 911 call came in to VSO just before 11 o'clock this morning that one woman was chasing another woman with a weapon. That's when deputies got here, but it would end on this dock area, Northeast First Court, uh, that is just west of Federal Highway here in Dania Beach, when a BSO deputy said he was forced to fire. But I it. was down on my boat, and then I heard screaming, and then bang, bang, bang. That was it. I came up, the woman was laying on the road. That's all I know. A CBS4 viewer provided this picture of the woman. Witnesses say a BSO deputy shot after BSO said she lunged at them with a knife. The initial call came out that it was on the street, that one female was armed with a meat cleaver chasing another around in circles, and that's when our deputies arrived. According to BSO, the woman was told and refused to drop the weapon. This woman, who asked not to show her face, described what happened next. This lady was surrounded by the police, and she was shot three times by one officer. Shots were low, waist or hip, and she was bleeding and fell to the ground, and that's what I witnessed. The woman survived the shooting. Relatives say she may have been suffering a mental health episode. From Chopper 4, you could see on the ground what's known as a launcher. CBS 4 first to show you this less lethal weapon a few years back BSO began using. It looks like a 12 gauge shotgun, but fires beanbag like projectiles. As the call was occurring, we were hoping to be able to get the less lethal weapon up close enough to where we can kind of reduce the uh, lethal aspect. But unfortunately, we never had the time to use it. So they never had the time to use a less lethal weapon. The woman was shot with a nine millimeter, but fortunately she is going to survive, listed in good condition. Tonight, Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating this shooting. In Dania Beach, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.